Hey guys, this is Chris and from GB Cars and today we're going to be looking at an item I'm very excited about. I just um, collected just now and it's the Blue Driver Scan Tool. So I'm just going to do an unboxing and tell you a little bit about it. Okay, we just got the package out and this is the box that it comes in. So it says Blue Driver. Um, pro scan tool and just like some of these wireless scan tools that are out there the blue driver is a little bit more than just a scan tool and you see where it says that it's available for iPhone iPad and iPods so you can connect it to that you can also connect it to Android phones and they're made for vehicles sold in North America from 1996 and newer and for vehicles sold in Europe from 2001 and newer for the periods for petrol and 2004 for new, newer vehicles um, and for, for the diesel. Vehicles sold in Australia and New Zealand it goes from 2006 and newer and vehicles sold in other countries you have to see the F FAQ at um, www bluedriver.com so it has a one-year warranty on it and so i'm very um, excited about this product because i'm going to be using it extensively on my car which is a bmw to do some scanning check codes and other stuff and pull the product yet just to give you my direct reaction from the unboxing so let's see it's kind of difficult doing this with one hand but let's see if i can get it done for you guys all right so this is how the back the package is done so okay i'm certain where this is or it's, it's like a sticker yeah, so apparently we get a sticker with it. So you can put, find somewhere to put that. And it comes with a, to get started. So with these blue drivers, you have to install an app on your phone. I have already installed the app. So later I'm gonna show you a little bit about the app and how to use it as it states here it's for apple store or from the google play store so we're going to be looking at that and also give it some other instructions so let's look at the actual device uh, so guys this is the actual unboxing so this is uh, the the device so it has an led right there that once connected to your bluetooth to your device it um it's supposed to blink blue so um so what you're going to do you're going to identify the obd port in your car for my car is right there just um check the alignment of the port and just connect it to your odb um right there See already it starts showing in blue so you know that it's connected so you just go to ignition on the car and then we're gonna move over to the cell phone to show you exactly what happens all right guys so now we are on the cell phone now this is a typical interface for the blue driver. You see um, the basic user friendly for reading codes, for clearing codes, um, for save reports. Can also use for freeze frame, smog checks, mode six and for mil status on your vehicle 
vehicle information and ser general service information. Now, for one of the most important things that persons buy this device for is to scan the code. And you can see that it's scanned the codes very quickly and just gives me a warning information because I'm using it for the first time so that's just gonna select OK on this one. It's basically asking me to update the firmware on the device before continuing. So I'm just gonna press continue here or OK to to carry on with this process. Alright, so we see that we have one confirmed trouble code. It says that we have a a misfire detected in cylinder one. So, generally speaking, may be caused by faulty coil or spark plug or sometimes other reasons. Just get another updating message. This basically is our agreement and it normally comes at the beginning of the installation you won't see it again so we just select accept and continue so as i was telling you earlier this is more than just a typical scan tool it can give you possible fixes for the fall code and also for you to report um, your own fix to the database so that others can see and use it when you're using once you have inserted this information you can submit it and it will go on to their general website so we're seeing where we have a p0301 code which generally is for misfire where you can watch so, to show how to fix the problem so I'm going to clear this code and select clear it OK. What is normally advised to fix the problem because clearing the codes won't fix the problem. Just clear it from your dashboard or remove the engine check light from your car. But if you don't fix the problem, it will come back again. So it's recommended to fix the problem before clearing the code. So that's basically it what once you have cleared it it ha would remove from the software but it will save in the history of the software for the future thank you guys for watching the video please remember to like subscribe and share for future content thank you